heading out to the same spot I always go to. Uh, the reason I always go there is it's not because the fish are big. It's just that that is the closest spot to where I live. So, like, it's five minutes away. Literally. And I forgot my SD card. Anyway. It's five minutes away. I can get there pretty quick. Uh, I've been having bad luck lately, but every time I go to this spot, I end up fishing the whole river. And I always end. I always finish out the day in this one spot where there's always fish. I always catch something there. I don't know why I don't just go there to start with, so... Today I'm going to skip all the other bullshit and just go straight to that one spot. And uh, I'm kind of burning daylight. I'm in a hurry. It's, uh, I got about an hour, maybe an hour and a half left of daylight. Get out of the spot. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head, head over there. And, uh, been on a bad streak lately. See if I can get something, a dink. I'd be happy with with something that wouldn't even be considered a keeper. So uh, I'm only taking one rod with me. To, I'm not taking a whole lot of gear, and uh, we'll see what I can do with a couple of Sankos, maybe a crankbait. Every time I have ever been here, I've tossed the line right up here under this tree in the clearing there between the lily pads, and there's always something big right there that takes it, but I've never been able to hook it. Oh, I had one there, now I'm stuck on the branch. Whoa. Ah, come on, don't get stuck. Damn it. Snapped off. Of course it did. <sighs> yeah, and I got an uh, actual Texas rig hook, so. Maybe it'll get rigged right this time. Although I'm not sure why that one kept getting stuck. It was still rigged wiggly, uh, weedless. Got him that time. What is it? It's just a little one. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Uh, it was a little one, whatever it was. Maybe it was a sunfish or something, but I've never had a sunfish go after a Sanko before. Maybe it was a rock bass. I had another bite. They're not, it's, it can't be a bass, because whatever it is is pulling the tail on it. No, that one went after the head. I don't know. Let me get over there. Maybe I can see it. Uh, they're little bass. Maybe. Well, whatever it was, I just scared it away. It splashed a little louder than I thought it would. There was a little bass there. Are you kidding me? What am I even stuck on? Weedless my ass. I've seen bass in that little, in this little clearing right down here, right where the small ones were just now, where I got a couple of bites. I've seen three pounders down in there, so. I had one hook that jumped up out of the water one time and shot the line right back at me and hit me square in the chest. I got that on video in one of my older videos. I don't know if you can see the jump, but you can see the lure hit me square in the chest. That wasp is making a lot of noise right there. Thing's making a lot of noise. Oh, come on. I saw him too, but as soon as I set, tried to set the hook, he took off.
Got one. Didn't even know it. Uh, little one. But I'll take it. It's been a while. And there goes my lure. I only got two of those left full. Now actually, I, was, I only got one of those left now. Good, healthy looking fish. Got some fat to them. I believe this is actually a spotted bass, not a largemouth. Finally broke my bad streak on a yum dinger right up there under those tree branches. Uh, it's been a while since I caught a bass. Oh, here we go. And he's gone. As small as that one was, it feels good to break the streak. And, uh, you know, I, I fish here. I don't fish here because the fish are big. I fish here because there's fish and because it's so close to my house, my apartment. So, uh, you're never going to see me pull a five pounder out of this river. Uh, if I go anywhere other than this river, it's usually a special occasion, a special trip. I got to. I plan ahead a couple of weeks in t ahead of time. Oh, come on. I can never set the hook on that one. Can't get the timing on it. Just don't have the feel. I can see him grab it. Or I see the line moving. I can't actually see the fish. But I can see the line straighten out and I see it take off. But by the time I try to set the hook, he's already let go. Had a good bite there, but... Let go of it again. Had the bite, he was still holding on to it, but he didn't have the hook. Is that a fish? What was that? I had to be hung up. There's no way that was a fish. There's nothing that big around here. Nothing I wouldn't be able to see swimming around anyway. The water is really clear, but there's a lot of glare and reflection, so I can't see in the water anyway. I got him that time. That's a little one, though. Ah, stuck. What is that? That is a sunfish. I've never had a sunfish go after this. No, nope, that's a rock bass. Okay. Actually, I've never had a rock bass go after a Senko before either, or a Yum Dinger. Hooked him real good. He wasn't going anywhere. He's, he can't even move. Hooked him right to the roof of the mouth. Almost got him in the eye. You know what to say? To help this one, to keep from killing him, I'm going to flatten off the barb. That way I can get it out of there. Okay, flatten up the barb. Shouldn't be any resistance slipping the hook right back out. There we go. And that is a little bitty. Seriously, I'm pretty sure my yum dinger is longer than that. Look at that. Five inch yum dinger. 5 inch bass. I don't know if you can see that what the camera's pointed at, but this is a 5 inch rock bass. Same length as the, the yum dinger. It'll be alright. <laughs> you know what? Uh, rock bass, they're not a game fish. I don't know if they're any good to eat or anything, but they're pretty fun to catch. They're always real small like that. They don't get a whole lot bigger. But they put up a hell of a fight. They fight like a fish three times their size. So they're they're fun to catch. I've never caught one on this kind of lure before. And I probably haven't included it in any of my videos. 
but maybe you've seen them. It, I always spit on the lure after I handle it, and uh, there's a reason for that. I've, uh, when I was in Boy Scouts as a kid, I used to have Boys Life magazine and all that, and uh, one of the fishing tips was to spit on your bait to remove the smell of your hands. And since then, it's kind of become more of a ritual than actually proving anything, but I do it every time. Every time I touch it, I spit on it. And if I, if for some reason I don't spit on it for a while, whenever I do spit on it, I catch a fish the next time, so. I don't know how deep it is over there, but the current is faster on that side. There's a sandbar here in the middle with a bunch of buildup, and you can see everything build up at these lily pads. On the other side of the sandbar and on the other side of the lily pads, the current is just a lot faster. Like over here, it looks like a lake, like it's standing still, and over there you can see everything flowing by. Getting some kind of bite there, but... A little nibble. Got him that time. Nope. Damn it. I really thought that was a fish. <laughs> Damn. Well, at least there was a bite there, but and I lost my lure again. Let me see if I can hook this one. Got it. You've never seen someone try so hard to get a lure back. Oh man, are you kidding me? I thought I was stuck on a stick, but it was a fish. Ah. That, that was my last one. I've got some Strike Kings and some white Sankos left. No green ones. Don't think the white ones are going to be doing good right now, but why don't you give it a shot? First, I want to see if I can get this one back. Got it. <laughs> See, I'm not the cheap angler for nothing. Got one that time. Little bitty one. It's fighting pretty hard though. It's another little rock bass. Hell, it might be the same rock bass from earlier. No, this one's actually smaller. That's crazy. Rock bass are aggressive. Look at the size of this bass compared to the size of the lure there. And well, he set himself free, so never mind. And I'm serious about those rock bass fighting hard. That little one that was about five inches right now, the same length as the lure, that thing fought about as hard as a 10 inch largemouth of spotted bass would. I'm stuck on the damn piece of carpet again. There's a piece of rolled up carpet down here. I lose at least one lure on it every day. 
I lost a crankbait on it the other day. Ah, that snapped a little harder than it should have. It's a little weird. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a day there.